Hello, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review. Thanks for watching this time with another robot. Thank you, Shasnagar. This one is coming from Guller, uh, located in Drossendorf. And it comes in this 0 0.75 liter bottle. It's the second time that I'm having a 0 0.75 liter bottle. The other one was from Haburstrumpf Trebegast. Uh, this bottle was sent to me by um, Mikael Dresch. So big thanks to him for um, letting me try this bottle here on the channel. And there is two breweries in Franconia with the name Guller. The other one is bigger and it's from Seil on mine. And I'm going to review the lager from that one also in the future. But this one is... Uh, Göller Drossendorf, of course, the family family brewery, family name is Göller, that's why they called the brewery uh, Göller, and it comes in this 0 0.75 liter bottle, which is having a bottle shape that I haven't been having before on the channel. Uh, very, you know, quite not, not that common bottle shape, but it comes with this crown cap and one label right here, as you can see, Lager. Brauerei Göller uh, and yeah, there is the logo also of this Göller Brauerei Göller Drosselhof Lager uh, I'm gonna show that uh, label closer after I've been pouring it up because I've been receiving some response regarding that it's pouring boring to see um, all the foam sinking down so first of all I'm gonna uh, open this bottle up and pour it up into this glass, of course. Just gonna create much foam. There's no way to avoid that when you're having this uh, this bottle shape. I don't know if this bottle shape is um, created only to create much foam, but as you can see. Um, much foam thanks to the uh, to the bottle shape and uh, it's important to put up uh, much foam in my opinion anyway I'm gonna let this foam head sink down um, and um, meanwhile I can show you for example the uh, closer look of the label right here and the information is um, Brauerei uh, Göller Trossendorf Memmelsdorf Zutaten Wasser, Gerstemalz, Hopfen, alcohol content 4.9 percent volume I can also show you the information that I'm having on my books regarding Franconian brewers of course Start with this book right here And here we have The picture of the Göller brewery right here as you can see, small brewery. Um, the information is uh, Georg Göller, founded 1865. Uh, Mammelsdorf, Drossendorf. Uh, Birzorten, Urstoff, uh, Dunkles Lager. Helles, Ungespundetes Lager, which I guess is this one. And Höpfla, which is a pills. Uh, Meist getrunken, Helles Lager, uh, annual output 1000 hectoliters, Gasthof Göller. That's information from that book and I also have another book of course which is uh, this one right here and here you can also see the Brauerei Göller in Drossendorf information right here and the information is uh, founded 1865 Georg Göller Jr. Wo das Schorschler wohnt nachdem die wir uh, hier Immer wieder wechseln wollen wir uns, äh, uns einem widmen, das bleibt das Lagerbier. Das helle, unfiltrierte, hopfenbetonte Bier macht seinem Namen alle Ehre. Britischer Schaum am Ende, ein deutlicher Hopfennote und eine feine Bittere. Das Fazit einig, einfach spezifisch. Schließlich steht es auch in der Tradition der fränkischen Kellerbiere, die jeweils das Beste aus den verwegbaren Rohstoffen zu siedene Bier darstellen. Daraus hat sich unsere fränkische Biervielfalt erwinkelt und die Gewissheit, dass das Bier zwar in jeder Brauerei ein bisschen anders schmeckt, jedoch immer von höchster Qualität und einfach spezifisch ist, 
Übrigens, letzter Freitag im September ist hier Bockbier am Tisch Bier Sorten Lager Hell. Uh, great match for me also, we can read you about the Gasthof to Gasthof Göller. Ein Anstisch für jedes Bier. Seit 1865 kocht Familie Göller in Drossendorf ihr eigenes Süppchen und braut ihre eigenen Bierchen. Und uh, die werden dann jeweils zum Anstisch mit einem eigenen kleinen Fest begrüßt. Termine Schorschler am Tag des Bieres, 23rd April und Bock letzter Freitag im September. Wir wünschen schon mal viel Spaß mit Feiern. Die Spießerkarte umfasst dann viele fränkische Klassiker, die hier noch komplett nach alter Tradition selbst hergestellt werden. Die Rezepte werden dabei gehütet, wie bei anderen Leuten der Augapfel. Übrigens kommen auch die Brotzeiten aus Hausschlachtung, die einmal im Monat eine Schlachtschlüssel möglich macht. Gasthof Göller und, uh, of course, uh, Göller Brauerei, die Link to the Brews Website, which I'll link to in the description box below, so you can find out more about this brewery, Brauerei Göller in Drossendorf. Uh, thank, thank you. Try to pour up the rest. Yeah, still a little bit of left in the bottle. Uh, but still, I can see we can get the aroma of it. Meanwhile, and the look of it, which is quite cloudy actually, and the foamed is very thick and nice, very nice foamed, and look cloudy, really, really cloudy, nice the way I want it, and thick white foam crumb. So let's get the aroma. Yeah, hops and very nice. I don't know if it's unfiltered, but it's still, it looks very cloudy. I didn't see half on the ingredient list, but... Yeah, the hops aroma is very, very nice in this one, to be honest. So, let's pour up the rest. There we have it all. The Göller Drossendorf Lager. Let's give it a try. The big format. Post. <clears throat> yeah, of course, um, it's um, really, really nice and a great Franconia lager. It's um, got a hops taste that I find very, very pleasant and nice. It's uh, <clears throat> a little bit like a Swickle taste because I guess Swickle is an unfiltered pills, basically. Um, this is uh, a very nice tasting one. Um, having a fantastic hops taste. And um, I wasn't sure because lager can be anything. It can be a dark one, it can be an unfiltered one, like a, a Landbeer, and it can be like a Helles, and it can be like a Pils. Um, but this lager, this Helles lager, is really, really great in my opinion. So uh, I definitely can recommend it. And I really hope you visit the brewery's website also because. It really deserves attention, these small family brewers having a quite hard time to survive the pandemic, I believe. Um, especially these breweries that only sell in their own Gasthofs, of course. That needs to be closed down and so on. That's very sad, but I do what I can to help them with attention and so on. This one, Gjallold Rosendorf, is very, very great in my opinion. Um, no doubt about it, but it's uh, fantastic. The Gölderot Rosendorf Lager, really, really great. Um, that's what I can say, and of course, a big recommendation. Um, I 
as you know, I like this very small Franconian brews and um, yeah, I uh, I always look forward to try them because they're all really, really great and especially this one, Golod Rosendorf. So again, thanks to Mikael who did send this bottle to me so I could review it here on the channel. It's very appreciated and uh, I also like the feedback of course that I'm getting from any guys in Franconia that's helping me and uh, giving me support and so on. That's why I want to continue with the reviews, one of the reasons at least. So, as I said, Gerlot Rosendorf is um, a brewery that I've been looking forward to a lot um, for a very long time and uh, finally I got the opportunity to try their lager which is uh, their most sold one and uh, yeah. it doesn't disappoint at all, as I said, it's really really great. Uh, this brewery. So big thanks to them and to Michael for this one. Great one. I absolutely enjoy it. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it too if you're going to try it. The Galod Rosendorf. That's it for now. That's the Galot Rosendorf lager. And as I used to say, I hope you like my reviews and um, that you continue to follow my channel for more interesting Franconian beer reviews. And see you again in the next Franconian beer review.